Hello, and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I'm going to share a few tips on how to find a job in the video game industry. Why the video game industry? Well, according to the research, gaming is growing year over year and generating hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue in all categories of mobile, console, and PC gaming. The viewership numbers are climbing, the tournament prizes are at its highest, and games are now more enjoyable than ever. For many of you, the ultimate dream job is to make it as a professional gamer, to be signed to a major esports organization traveling the world competing for large amounts of cash prices. But let me tell you firsthand, yes, it is totally the dream job, but to keep it real, it comes with huge sacrifices. Gaming is now more competitive than ever, and to make it to the elite level, there is no shortcut around training 6 to 10 hours every day for several years to get there. Gaming is like any other competitive sport, where even if you do put in the time, it doesn't guarantee success. Meaning, even if you do put in the practice time, you still have to transfer that practice to performing in matches and tournaments. Out of the tens of millions of gamers out there, only but a few thousand will make it to the professional level. Now, I don't mean to pour rain on your aspirations to go professional, as I do believe that anyone can accomplish anything in this world if they put the time and passion into it. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that there's a difference between playing games for recreational purposes and truly committing yourself to becoming the best player in the world. On a positive note, if you do not make it as a pro gamer, all is not lost because you've still obtained experience that can transfer into game design. Many of my former teammates, colleagues, and gaming friends have prestigious jobs working for top game developers. Jobs as quality assurance testers, the ones responsible for finding bugs, testing the maps, weapons, physics, and essentially trying to break the game by finding imbalances and overpowered tricks, all things gamers naturally do when learning the game. If you're interested in creating worlds and environments, you can become a level designer. If you have a decent computer, I'd highly recommend learning Unity and or Unreal Engine, both free to use and are the go-to programs for game and level designing. There's an endless amount of free tutorials on YouTube to teach you everything you'll need to know to get your first playable map up and running within a couple of hours. If you're a creative artsy type of person, I'd recommend trying out Blender, also a free program where you can learn to 3D model, animate, and sculpt characters. You can literally create any object which can then be used in a game. Also tons of YouTube tutorials to get you started. If you're more of a systems, logical type thinker, then programming may be for you. Definitely one of the most sought after skills in this new digital age and one of the highest paying. All you need to do is pick a programming language that makes sense to you, a keyboard, and internet to get started. Some other skills I'd recommend learning that'll help in any job or career you pursue are the skills of reading, writing, and communicating. What I mean by reading is making an effort to seek and absorb knowledge, whether it be reading books, articles, and blogs, or watching and listening through audiobooks, podcasts, and online videos. There's bound to be some people you enjoy learning from, a mentor or teacher, someone that resonates with you. If you're improving yourself 1% each day for a year, you'll become over 37% better than you were before. The skills of writing and communicating may be the most important skill of them all. What makes everyone unique is that we all have our own thoughts and ideas, and the foundation of sharing these thoughts and ideas are through written word and verbal communication. If you learn to construct your thoughts into clear and efficient sentences, the better you can express your ideas and turn them into reality. Practice by writing into a journal or into a text file whatever you're thinking, how your day went, your goals for the week, or any subject that interests you. Since this is practice, there's no need for perfection. Simply write your thoughts with freedom and without any self-judgment. The more you practice, the faster and better you'll be able to get what's in your head and out into the world. If you want to go the extra step of improving your ability to express your thoughts, I'd highly recommend learning to create and edit videos. Yes, writing and speaking are the foundation of communication, but adding visuals of text, graphics, and animation really strengthens the delivery. Some of my early YouTube videos were made using the free video editing software OpenShot, which took me less than two hours to learn by watching free tutorials. And the last tip I'll recommend is that something like 50% of all job hires are through references, meaning someone recommended a friend or acquaintance for the job. That means even if you are the most skilled and qualified person, if you're not someone people enjoy working with, you may not get hired. If you're trying to go professional gamer, that means always acting like a professional. You should be someone that esports organizations and sponsors are proud to have you representing them. So be the person everyone wants on their team or recommends working with. And no matter what you do, you'll always have a job somewhere. 